recently the Stanley Parable has released on Steam for fifteen dollars and I decided to pick it up and you know what why not make a little try to make a little review about it so the Stanley Parable uh, the gist of the game is that you are a man named Stanley and you must navigate through an office complex with the help of your narrator companion now a lot of the game is about choice or mainly the lack of choice you have at times um, one of the first encounters of choice you have is two doors one on the left and one on the right and this greatly impacts how the game is played but after a while it is set in motion of what will happen so mainly what we're looking at here is that it it definitely ponders the idea of choice a lot it really likes to mess with your brain on wait what what is this gonna do what's gonna happen and um, on the loading screen it says the end is never the end and it just keeps repeating that on the bottom of the loading screen the end is never the end the end is never the end the end is never the end and that just this game has so many endings to it I mean definitely has a lot of replay value to it uh, gameplay wise there really isn't that much other than walking forward and possibly clicking or pressing the E button depending on which one you're feeling like so and they even disabled the um, jump buttons so that's a thing definitely so if you're considering buying this game it is I believe fifteen dollars on Steam right now if it has um, if it is not on sale it should be fifteen dollars and one of the complaints when I was looking over the um, community page on Steam was that uh, the achievements very much made it look like the game was half an hour to an hour long if that for fifteen dollars so I'm gonna read off the achievements um, in no particular order eight 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 with the description eight 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 you get the idea uh click on door four thirty five times where you click on the door four thirty five times um achievement this is an achievement welcome back quit the game and then start it again you can't jump no seriously we disabled it beat the game complete the stanley parable Commitment, play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. Speed run, complete the Stanley Parable in under 4 minutes and 22 seconds, not including the load times. Go outside, don't play the Stanley Parable for 5 years and unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. Right, so obviously these achievements are very silly. Um, they aren't very much... Um, if you're an achievement hunter... Uh, probably getting uh, unachievable it's probably possible let's be honest but you know it's it's gonna be difficult um, play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday a lot of these achievements they say something but they mean something else um, I have a total of uh, one two three four five six achievements six out of ten already unlocked and mainly like they're stupid achievements, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I used to be an achievement whore on Xbox Live, so um, getting these are kind of like, well, that's interesting. I, it doesn't really, it's not too gratifying, but they are funny. Uh, click on do, door uh, 430 is definitely an enjoyable achievement to get. Um, anyway, so if you're thinking about picking up the Stanley Parable, it it doesn't have that much gameplay to it like I said earlier it's just press the W button and then just move forward like they said they disable the jump button you can't even jump in this game um, and yeah if if you want to buy this game yeah you have to know what you're getting into it's not the gameplay that makes this game it's the concept it, this game will make you ponder life your life and your choices that you made in your own life I mean I was seriously considering uh, deeply considering what happens in my life and like 
wait, w what is this game actually telling you? And that's great. This game is amazing when it comes to that. Um, the narrator. Oh, my God. That narrator has, like, the best voice for this. I mean, just awesome. I wish that he I had his voice because that would be awesome in every way possible. Um, and then the comedy in this game. This game is very much about comedy. Um, without trying to spoil the game, uh, it, it has comedy kind of like, uh, I want to say Portal. It has like kind of Portal-like comedy to it, but at the same time, you know, it's very distinct. It's its, its own sarcastic at times or um, just straight up insulting you. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering about picking up this game for $15, I highly recommend it. Again, it's not about the gameplay, it's not about the achievements, it's about the experience. This game is an experience, it's not, yeah, it's hard to call it a game. It's kind of, uh, it, I mean, it is a game. It is a game, there is an end goal in sight, but there's no real difficult, there's no difficult way to, um, there's no challenge, there's no challenge. Um, I have put some gameplay of it in the background just so that you could see what it's about with the subtitles on so you could see the um, dialogue. And yeah, that's the that's the purpose of the game. Um, that's it. It's just to get to the end, figure out what the choices that you have mean. And honestly, it gets it gets deep. This game gets really deep. The narrator gets sad if you choose the wrong path, or he gets angry. But I'm not gonna spoil any of it. So because you need to experience this game. If you're considering it, buy it. Just do it. If you can't buy it now, wait for a Steam sale. $15 is kind of a steep price for this game, but it is worth it. Thanks for watching.